Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Chickens ride west. <gasps> oh, my goodness! It's morning! I've got to do my deliveries. Relax, Mr. Elf. It's early. Oh, yes. I love these quiet moments before the day begins. Yes, it's so lovely and peaceful. <laughs> ah, it's the cockerel from the elf farm. The chickens have escaped! We have to round them up. Come on, you chickens. Whoa! Come on, chickens. Come on, come on. Come on, chickens. Come on, choo-choo. Whoa, good. Everything's under control. Thanks for your help, Mr. Elf. Lucky you were still here and not off on your deliveries. Oh, my deliveries! I really am late now. <laughs> Look at the little primroses. So pretty. <coughs> Good delivery. Morning, Mr. Elf. You're a bit late today. Yes, we had a problem with the chickens this morning. Chickens, eh? That reminds me. I really fancy an egg for breakfast. Ah, I didn't bring an egg today. No egg? No problem. I'll just go and get one. Can I come along? Of course. I'd better come too so I can pick a good egg. We'll drive back to the chickens, pick up the egg, load it on the truck, drive back here, and hey, presto, you'll have your egg, Your Majesty. Oh, all that for one egg? It'd be simpler if I had my own chicken. Then I'd get an egg in time for breakfast. <laughs> OK. Bye. Bye. You don't really want a chicken, do you? Of course not. I was joking. <laughs> an egg! The king wants an egg! Does he? We might have a problem there. The chickens aren't laying any eggs. What? Why not? The chickens have run out of food. They've pecked away all the plants. Till all that's left is mud. Yes, if you want a nice flower garden, don't keep chickens. Look, there's one little flower left. Oh, they like eating little flowers the best. Hey, you cheeky chicken. If only there was somewhere else they could live. Oh, Daddy said he'd like chickens at the little castle. Yes, he did sort of say that. It's true. The king said, I want my own chicken. It's the perfect solution. We'll move the chickens to the little castle. OK, everyone, we're moving the chickens west. Saddle up, cowboys. Yahee! Boys, you're moving chickens. So shouldn't you be called chicken boys? Uh, cowboys sounds better. Can I be a cowgirl? Sure thing, Holly. Here's your hat. <laughs> Wagons roll. Yeehaw! Yahoo! Yahoo! Yippee! -yay, okay! -yay. <laughs> I didn't realise moving chickens was so naughty. The chickens like noise, but we must be careful not to make a sudden loud noise. We don't want a stampede. Sudden loud noise? What, like bang? Ah, chicken on the loose! Whoa! This way, this way! Phew! That was close. Now, no more sudden loud noises, Nanny Plum. We've got a long journey ahead of us. Chickens ride west, chickens ride west. Wagons are a rolling, west we are going. Chickens ride west, chickens ride west. We've reached Crooked Creek. What do you mean, Crooked Creek? It's a creek, isn't it? And it's crooked. 
It's just a little river. Somehow we have to get the chickens to the other side. And chickens don't like crossing water. <laughs> I thought chickens loved water. Have you ever seen a chicken in water? All the time. Swimming up and down, going quack, quack. Look, there's one. <laughs> That's a duck. <sighs> Whatever. Chickens are not ducks and they don't like swimming. Ooh. So what can we do? We'll use an old cowboy trick to get the chickens across. Wait here. What's the old cowboy trick? I don't know, but it's bound to be very clever. Or very silly. But probably funny. Ta-da! Told you. He's dressed as Humpty Dumpty. Why is old elf? Why are you dressed as an egg? Chickens like to look after their eggs. So, if they see one floating across the water, they'll follow it. I'm an egg. Come in, chickens. The water's lovely and warm. I'm an egg. <coughs> They're following the egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. That has to be one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. I'm an egg. You see, it's all quite simple when you're an old cow hand like me. <gasps> oh, what's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a cowboy in his underpants before? Wow, the chickens really like picking up flowers. They're eating machines, leaving nothing but mud. Yes, are you sure the king said he wants chickens at the little castle? That's what Daddy said. I want chickens at the little castle. Very well then, saddle up. Chickens ride west, chickens ride west. Wagons are a rolling. We're in the Badlands. Badlands? It's the meadow. We'll stop here for the night. Get the wagons in a circle. Let's keep these chickens safe. Ah, sleeping outdoors with a campfire. Life doesn't get better than this. Unless you're home in bed, watching television. Talking of home, we'd better phone the king. Hello? Hello, King Thistle. We're almost there, but we need to camp out for the night. Wow! How long can it take to deliver one egg? Don't worry, Daddy. You'll have your chicken by the morning. My chicken? What does Holly mean by that? Bedtime, everybody. Nanny, you keep watch. What do I have to do? Keep watching the chickens and do not fall asleep. Righto! Morning, Nanny Plum. How did it go in the night time? Uh, fine. Where are the chickens? Oh, they've gone. Gone? The whole point of watching them was to make sure they didn't go. You never said that. You just said watch them. You watch them wander off into the night? Yes. Oh, all right, cowboys. Let's round up the chickens. Come back, chickens! Chickens, come back! Nanny, remember, no sudden loud noises. We don't want a chicken stampede. All right. You aren't exactly quiet yourself. Ha! Elves are good at being quiet. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. <laughs> Whoops. The chickens are stampeding! <laughs> We'll head them off at the pass. Head them off at the pass? What does that mean? No idea. But they say it in all the cowboy films. The chickens are heading straight for the fairy village. Yeah, chicken stampede! <laughs> Which way did the chickens go? They went that away. Yes, that's what they say in cowboy films as well. They went that away. Ah, <sighs> it's so lovely to wake up to the song of a little bird. <laughs> Good grief! What 
What are those chickens doing here? You said you wanted a chicken, Daddy. I didn't expect you to take me seriously. You're the king. Of course we take you seriously. What are they doing to my flower garden? Eating it, Your Majesty. If you are going to keep chickens, you have to say goodbye to flower gardens. But you can have eggs for breakfast every day. <laughs> and you won't have any problems waking up. <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the lake. The mermaid. Ah, Lucy, I do love fishing. Me too, Dad. It's so peaceful. Just what I need to get my nerves back in order. I wonder if we'll see any elves or fairies. Huh? Do we have to talk about weird magical stuff? <laughs> you know it upsets me. But you've seen the elves and fairies too, Dad. I've been thinking about it and I've decided I imagined it all. There are no such things as fairies or elves. <laughs> Hello, Lucy's dad. Ah, an elf in a submarine. Hello, Hello Lucy. Lucy. Hello, Ben and Holly. We're fishing. Uh, yes, we were just having a quiet morning's fishing. Dad, did you see that big fish? It's Big Bad Barry. <laughs> Barry. The fish is called Barry. Yes, the biggest, baddest fish in the lake. Whoa, what a whopper. <coughs> Dad, <coughs> you have to throw him back in the water. <coughs> he can't breathe. Of course I will. But, but just take a photo so I can show my friends. There you go, Barry. Bye-bye. <coughs> Aha! We've got another fish. Oh, well, this isn't a fish. It's a mirror. Can we keep it, Dad? Yes, it's from the bottom of the lake, so it can't belong to anyone. Cool. OK, well, it's, it's been nice chatting to you, um, little folk. <laughs> but I think it's time to go home. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Do you think the mirror is magic, Dad? I hope not. I've seen enough magic for one day. Listen, somebody's crying. <laughs> it's a girl. <gasps> Hello. What are you doing in the lake? I live here. You live in the lake? Yes, I'm a mermaid. <laughs> my name is Oceana. Why were you crying? I've lost my mirror. That must be the mirror Lucy found. And where is this Lucy? She's a big girl, so she'll probably be on her way to school. Bye, Lucy. Pick you up later. Bye, Dad. Oh, no. A mermaid's mirror must never be seen by big people. Don't worry. I'm sure Lucy won't show it to anyone. Look, everybody. I found a mirror. Ooh. Ooh. Lovely. That's perfect for our show and tell. Come up to the front, Lucy, and show the mirror to the whole class. Ah! My poor mirror. I'll never get it back because I can't walk on land. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll get your mirror back. Oh, thank you. Home time, children. Hi, Dad. Hi, Lucy. Good day. Lucy. Psst. Lucy! Ben! Holly! What are you doing here? We've come for the mirror. It belongs to a mermaid. A mermaid? Wow! Yes, and she needs her mirror back. 
Oh, OK. Please tell me this is just a game. Elves and fairies are one thing, but mermaids? Haven't you read about mermaids in books? Yes, but I've also read about dragons and witches, and they're not real either. Yes, yes they, they are. are. We can show you witches and dragons. And loads more if you like. No, no, thanks. I'll take your word for it. So, where is this mermaid? After you left, she got called back home to the bottom of the lake. She'll be having her dinner. Fish, probably. We have to find Oceana and give her mirror back. Right then. Into the submarine. Lucy, would you like to come too? Yes, please. Um, we'd love to join you, but I think we are just a tad too big to fit in your little submarine and... Ah! What's happening to me? Just shrinking you down. <laughs> My turn. Um, will we stay little forever? Oh, no. The spell will wear off in a bit and you'll grow big again. All aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Prepared to dive! Dive, dive, dive! It's beautiful! Look, Dad! Yes, it's all very pretty. In fact, I'm beginning to quite enjoy this magical adventure. You see, Dad, the world of elves and fairies is fun! Yes, I don't know why I was so worried about being magically shrunk down. It's amazing to be as small as these sweet little fishes. Not all the fish in the lake are sweet and little. Don't forget the fish you met this morning. Big Bad Barry. As I remember, Barry is about this big. Uh, that was before we were shrunk down, Dad. Now who would be about... That big! Oh, look! It's Barry! Ah! What does he want with us? He wants to eat the submarine. Any boat with me in it, Barry wants to eat. Yum, yum. Hold tight, everyone. I'm going to reverse. Vic reversing. Vic reversing. Vic reversing. Now we go forwards. It's no good. Barry's too fast. He's going to eat us. Don't worry, Lucy. We've been in Barry's tummy before. And it was fine. That's good to know. Well, hello, Barry. Mm. I don't understand. He should have eaten us by now. Maybe he remembers how my dad was nice to him this morning. That's right. You let Barry go. And fish never forget. Or is that elephants? <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Barry's saying that as you so kindly let him go this morning, he is your best friend forever. In fact, he now thinks of you as his brother. Lovely. Uh, one tiny problem. In all the excitement of being chased by Barry, we've got lost. <laughs> Barry's saying that he knows where the mermaids live and he'll take us there. That's what his brother wants. His brother? That's you, Dad! Oh, yes. <clears throat> um, Barry, old brother, please lead us to the land of the mermaids. Follow that fish! Right ho! Look! Barry's found the mermaids! Mermaids love to swim along Mermaids sing their mermaid song Mermaids comb their lovely They sing so beautifully! where Oceana lives. Diving suits on, everybody. <laughs> nice, Barry. Ah, uh, we're friends of your brother. Yes, they're with me. Mermaids, mermaids everywhere. Hello. Hello, mermaids. We're looking for Oceana. She's over there, being sad. <laughs> Oceana, we brought your mirror back. Oh, thank you so much. But why is it so tiny? We had to shrink it down to fit in the submarine. Don't worry, the spell will wear off soon and it'll grow big again. <laughs> there you go. My mirror. Thank you all so much. You're very welcome. Well, it's been a 
very interesting meeting you uh, mermaids, but we must be getting back now. Bye, Oceana. Bye, everyone. Bye, Betty. <laughs> suddenly got big again. Will that happen to me and my dad? Yep. And the fun bit is, you don't know when. Which means we should get a move on. We don't want them to grow big in the submarine. Ooh, I'm growing! Yeah, so am I. We must get to land. Full speed ahead. Almost there. Almost there. Try not to grow too much. <laughs> See, there was no need to panic. We had plenty of time. What an adventure! Yes, it was quite amazing. Remember, Lucy's dad, the little kingdom is meant to be secret. You must not tell any of your friends what you saw today. Tell my friends what I saw today? Let me think about that. And then the magical fairies shrank me down to the size of my thumb. I saw singing mermaids, and did I tell you that I now have a fish for a brother? No, I will not be telling anyone what I saw today. Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the magic bus stop. <laughs> Daisy and Poppy go to the museum. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's playgroup outing. Uh, Mrs. Fotheringill, are you sure it's a good idea taking the toddlers on an outing? They can be quite a handful. <laughs> <laughs> the little darlings do have high spirits, but this time I'm not going to let them get the better of me. That's the spirit, Mrs. Fotheringill. She's doomed. Let's check all the toddlers are here. Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> uh, Daisy and Poppy have promised to be as good as gold today. Not that that means very much. I'm sure if Daisy and Poppy say they will be good, they will be. Good as gold. <laughs> Nettle Elf. Ouch! She stung Mrs. Fotheringill with her nettle. Raspberry Fairy? <laughs> My little sister. Even her wand is rude. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, Tarquin. <laughs> Tarquin like Fotheringill. Tarquin is a monster. Remember last time when the toddlers made Mrs. Fotheringill disappear? Yes. All they found was her shoes. <laughs> Now, for today's outing, we're going on a trip to the museum. The big museum? But that's full of big people. Yes, but the museum has so many interesting things for the toddlers to look at. Are you going to take away their wands, Mrs. Fotheringill? No, Holly. If you trust a child, they will repay your trust. <laughs> this is going to be a catastrophe. What's a catastrophe, Daddy? What this is going to be. Oh, look! Here comes the magic bus. All aboard! Come on, everyone. All tight, going up. Next up, the big museum. Now, as you know, there will be big people at the museum. And we don't want to be seen by big people, do we? No! So what should you do if a big person sees you? Turn them into a frog. No, no, no. If a big person sees you, just pretend to be a toy, like this. I'm a toy. I'm a toy. Last stop, big museum. Everybody off. Oh. Keep together. In we go. Wow, these stairs are big. Well, this museum is built for big people. Follow me, everyone, and try not to be seen. Ah! Oh! 
Look, Mum, a tiny little person. I'm a toy. I'm a toy. It's a toy. Some poor child must have lost it. Just put it over there so they can find it again. OK, Mum. Phew, that was close. Yes, Ben, but it shows the plan works. If you're seen, just pretend to be a toy. I still think turning them into frogs is simpler. In the big museum, we can get an idea of how wonderful it was in the past. This first room is about the Stone Age. Ooh. A long time ago, the big people lived in caves. These are models of how the cave people must have looked. There's a button to press. Did the cave people have electric light bulbs? No. That's to show how the campfire would have looked when it was lit. Here's another button. <laughs> they move. Ooh. You see, King Thistle? The toddlers are being as good as gold. Good as gold. <laughs> it's actually going quite well. The toddlers haven't even made Mrs. Fotheringill disappear yet. Stone Age times. Close your eyes and imagine what it must have been like. <laughs> I have always wanted to know what it would be like to live in the Stone Age. Abracadabra! Yeah! Oh, dear. I suppose it was never going to last. All they've left is her shoes. Daisy, Poppy, where have you sent Mrs. Fotheringill? Stone, Stone Age! Age. <gasps> They've sent Mrs. Fotheringale back to the Stone Age. That was a very naughty thing to do. Bring Mrs. Fotheringale back right now. <sighs> OK. Oh! On second thoughts, you don't want to know what it was like to live in the Stone Age. Oh, my shoes! It's good to have them back. Right. Next room, Ancient Egypt. Ooh! Look. Here is a model showing how a pyramid was built. It's quite small. Were the ancient Egyptians the size of elves and fairies? No, the ancient Egyptians were big people. And the pyramids are huge. But they wouldn't be able to fit a full-sized pyramid into the museum. Big. That's right, Daisy. Think how big a real pyramid would be. Here we go again. Use your imagination. Big. What's going on here? Big people are coming! What's in there? Everyone, pretend to be toys! And what are these little toys doing here? Hello! Uh, hello? Frog time! <laughs> well done, Tarquin. Like they always say, when things are not going quite right, turn them into a frog! That doesn't even rhyme. And turning people into frogs is not a good way to do things. Why not? He'll turn back to a person in a moment and he won't remember a thing. We'd better get out of here before he turns back again. Yes, on with the tour. Oh, my goodness, that was all a bit of an adventure. What we need now is something a little less dangerous. Next room, the Vikings. Less dangerous? Vikings? People think the Vikings just ran around shouting. But really, they were gentle people who farmed and played music. If only there were Vikings around today, I'd love to know what they'd say to us. <laughs> she never learns. Abracadabra! <laughs> Interesting fact about Vikings, all they ate was Spam. I don't think that is correct. It's true! Vikings ate Spam. It was on the telly. Uh, Nanny, what happens when the frogs turn back into Vikings? They'll be very confused and maybe a tiny bit annoyed. Right, let's make sure we're not around when that happens. Wow, look at all those frogs. And what's this? 
Sorry about this, but I'm going to have to turn you all into frogs. Just for a bit. Eh? Frog time! <laughs> Nanny, why are there still bangs going on in the other rooms? Well, it was going to happen at some point anyway, so I thought I'd save a bit of time and just turn the whole lot of them into frogs. All the big people in the museum? You've turned them all into frogs? That's right. I knew you'd be pleased. Oh, what happened? Where am I? It's the museum man. He's turned back to himself again. Yes, and he's confused and a little bit annoyed. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! All the Vikings are turning back too. Right. I think this is as good a time as any to leave. Let's get out of here. Stop the Little Kingdom! Last stop! Everybody off! Oh. Well, all in all, that didn't go too badly. We survived and the museum wasn't destroyed. <laughs> Good goal! You see? All you have to do is trust the little darlings and they will repay your trust. She's really in a world of her own. She never learns. And next time, I thought we could visit a... Next time? Yes, we'll visit a big castle. You know, I've always wanted to live in the times of knights in armour. Abracadabra! <laughs> Let's bring her back. Abracadabra. On second thoughts, I never want to live in the time of knights in armour. I think the safest, nicest time is right here and now. <laughs> 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 <laughs>